Hi, I'm Richard and I'm a Humanistic Integrative Therapist based in Bournemouth, Dorset. My practice is called Check Your Head Counselling. You can find me online at checkyourhead.co.uk or Twitter or Instagram at checkyourheaduk. I named my practice after an album by the Beastie Boys. Growing up, this was a really important album for me. And as I've become an adult, the phrase check your head represents to me the importance of stopping, understanding what it is that's going on for you at that moment, processing and being aware of your emotions and using that understanding to figure out a way to keep yourself balanced. I believe this is ultimately what therapy offers. It's a way for somebody to stop and understand what's happening for them, why they feel that way, what it is that they want, where it is they want to go and how they can get there. I don't believe therapy is about giving advice. I believe it is about supporting somebody to figure out their own direction. My humanistic approach combines transactional analysis, person-centered and gestalt theories. And whilst I'm a big advocate of these, I believe that all the theory in the world can only be a barrier if you don't have that therapeutic relationship. I work hard with my clients to establish this and I base it around the principles of trust, confidentiality and safety. I think it's also important that my client is able to relate to me as a human being because after all, despite the experiences that we may have had, we are all human beings. The way that I offer support is through face-to-face -face counselling. During the current pandemic, that's not something I'm currently doing, but when it's safe to work together again, I can offer this at dedicated therapy rooms across Bournemouth, Christchurch and Poole. I also work online and I've seen, like many therapists, that this has been a huge benefit to people who have felt increasingly isolated and cut off from each other over the last year. For better or worse, the way in which we communicate has changed massively. We use digital devices and platforms to communicate on a daily basis, personally and professionally. It is no substitute for working face to face, but the fact is the world is changing and I believe that therapy needs to change. It needs to evolve to meet the needs of the world that it serves. And I believe online therapy is a way that this can happen. The other way that I work is walk and talk therapy. Living where I do, I'm lucky enough to be able to offer this therapy outdoors at a variety of coastal locations. The benefit of sunlight, natural movement, and really just the freedom that being outside brings has a huge impact on the therapeutic process. And I'm finding this of particular interest to men who perhaps feel a little bit uncomfortable with the idea of being sat in a room the, the four walls offering some kind of judgment, perhaps, on anything that they might say. We know that men do find it difficult to talk, and that is something that I'm particularly passionate about. So what I'm experiencing is a lot of men getting in touch uh, to undertake walk and talk therapy, as it offers them a freedom to be able to express themselves. If you would like to explore working together, or just to find out a little bit about what I do, please do check out my website, checkahead.co.uk. Drop me an email at inquiries at checkyourhead.co.uk or give me a call on the number on my website. Thanks very much for listening and I look forward to hearing from you.